hi welcome to my channel and today i have another theater vlog for you but today's vlog is for a children's show so we're actually heading to the zl center in hume today to go and see boxed in i don't know too much about the show but it should be fun we're taking my children who are age six and four my brother's coming with us because my husband forgot to get the day off we've never had the tickets for ages he forgot so my brother's gonna come with me just to help me with them so it should be a good day and obviously i'll show you around the theatre and then give you a full review of the show when we get home so i hope you enjoy this little video so we're all ready now and we're just waiting for granddad to come aren't we a little bit not today yeah just waiting for granddad said art center minus one child leo refused to come in he didn't want to come so we've left him with uh his granddad is gone to her granddad's house so it's just the three of us coming to the show but alice is really excited and she's having fun playing kitchen so we're going to play here until it's time for the show Hello. 
very, very, very shy. So the show is finished now. We enjoyed it. It was good. Did you enjoy the show? Yeah. yeah. We're just going to get the bus now and go to McDonald's for a treat for Alice. The bus is just coming now. Hi, so it's a few days later now since I went to see Boxed In at Z Arts. So I thought I'd better give you a little review of the show. So our tickets were kindly gifted by Z Arts to go and see Boxed In. Um, Z Arts itself is a really lovely venue. It's not just a theatre, they have a library in there and they do lots of other interesting things for children. They have like a family escape room. Um, they currently have something called 100 Story Hotel, which is like an interactive world of play and storytelling. Um, so they have that there. They also have a cafe there so you can get some food as well. So it's a really lovely venue. So we went to go and see Boxed In on Sunday the 10th of March, which just happened to be Mother's Day. Uh, my, our original plan was to go, we went to the morning session, was to go there and then I was hoping to go out for a nice family lunch, but unfortunately my husband wasn't able to get the day off work, so it didn't quite work out that way. So um, my brother actually came with me with the two children, because both my children are on the autistic spectrum and sometimes they can be a bit difficult on my own so I needed someone to come with me so my brother came with us um, my dad actually drove us there and when we got there my son decided he didn't want to come in um, he got he gets a bit nervous about shows that he doesn't know the story to um, the good thing about Z Arts is and this production in particular is that they sent over before the show uh, visual guides both for the show and the venue and they also sent an audio intro to the show so I showed my son all this and he was quite interested in the story thought it was good so I thought he was I thought he was going to be okay the only thing that he found a bit difficult is he said there was too many boxes um, and that was his excuse as to why he didn't want to go um, so unfortunately the visual guys didn't work this time around though he did get he did it seemed like he wanted to go after seeing them but unfortunately his anxiety just got too much for him and he, he didn't want to go so my dad drove him home which is why i got my dad to come and drive us because in case that did happen because my daughter was really after showing her the visual guys she was really excited to go and see the show um so i didn't want that to happen then they'll have to leave and Alice not get to see it because she was really excited to see it. Um, so the visual guides I thought I think it's a great idea, really helpful especially if you've got children with additional needs like mine who sometimes struggle um, in new situations and new venues. Like I said my son really struggles with shows that he doesn't already know the story to, he gets quite anxious about it um, and I think it's, it came from we went to see a show that he didn't know about and there was something that happened at the end of that show I think it slightly traumatised him and ever since that he's super anxious about going to any shows that he doesn't know the story to um, so visual guides and stuff like that are really helpful for him to understand what's going to happen and for him not to be so anxious about it so I thought that was great that they offered those um, tickets for the show were also very reasonably priced uh, like I said we were gifted our tickets but tickets if you were to purchase them were only £9.50 so again very reasonable uh, very affordable for this show. The show itself is about 45 minutes long and that includes like a little play session at the end because at the end they get all the children um, on to the stage and they're allowed to walk around and explore the stage which I thought was a really nice touch. Uh, my daughter was a little bit shy um they said there was too many people she didn't really want to go down at first once a few people left and it got a little bit quieter she did venture down and have a little look which was really nice and she did actually enjoy that when it was a bit quiet and there wasn't so many people um so yeah the show is about 45 minutes long it's 
suitable for age three to six and all shows are relaxed so you're allowed to make noises you're allowed to move around the auditorium you can come and go from the auditorium as you please or as you need and it's just a rela relaxed atmosphere i also had i think i think it had like a few bean bags and cushions on the floor in the at the very front of the stage so if you wanted to you could come and sit down at the front i asked my daughter if she wanted to she didn't she actually wanted to sit at the back away from everybody so we sat at the back um it was still in our seats i think some people moved forward so our seats were like not that far back we're still really near the front but at the back of everyone else she just didn't want to be near people so we just sat there where it was quieter and um yeah but it was nice that you could go and sit down there if you wanted to also on the way into the venue they did offer everyone ear defenders which i think is really which is really good um a few times my son has been to shows we don't actually have ear defenders for him because usually he refuses to wear them he doesn't like the feel of them on his head i know at school when they've tried to use them on him he doesn't wear them um but just recently he has struggled a bit with noise at theatres and he sits there with his hands over his ears so it was nice that they offered that alice didn't want any um sometimes she doesn't like the noise but she um this one wasn't very noisy you didn't really need them unless you're really really sensitive to sound so we didn't take any but i think quite a few families did take some i just thought that was really good because obviously not all families will have them with them so it was nice that they offered that so like i said we sat um near it was still at the front but near the back of everyone that was there uh, we were on actually on row e i think we we're on seats 19 to 22 and the view from there was really really good um z arts the theater there is really really well raked so if you go with children they literally have no problem no matter where they sit in that theater being able to see because it's so well raked you can just see over the person in front's head so personally i think it's one of the best theaters to take young children to um it's one if there's a show on there and in a different theater i would always choose to go and see it at z arts because i just think they get a really good view wherever they sit there and um, some other theaters where i've been um if you sit on the upper tiers there children really can't see I, we actually went to see room on the broom once with the children paid quite a lot of money for the ticket and the children literally couldn't see anything they had we had to sit them on our knees and lean really far forward over this barrier to be able to see anything so yeah z arts is an excellent theater for young children to go and see a show so the show itself is actually a co-production between daryl and co and half moon theater and it looks at the unspoken rules that are in our society and how children can be made to feel naughty just because they don't understand the rules or the rules don't make sense to them. So the show focuses on how unspoken barriers and attitudes, social etiquette and behaviours can sometimes prevent people from joining in. Uh, especially those who may have invisible disabilities such as like autism and ADHD and how it can be hard for people to understand why people with these disabilities need to do things in a certain way. So the show is mostly non-verbal. There is a few simple words in there such as stop, go, I think there was yes and no in there. So very simple um, words which makes this show accessible to a wide range of individuals. So it's very inclusive, especially with the things I've already mentioned, like giving out ear defenders, uh, the visual guides. So yeah, I thought it was very inclusive and really good for people who do have these um, sort of invisible disabilities and also physical disabilities as well. So Boxed In tells the story of Derek and Joe, um, two people who are separated by a war. So when Derek and Joe go on their lunch break, they put take off their coats and eat their lunch but they both do this in very different ways derek takes off his coat scrunches up and throws it into a box uh, whereas joe carefully takes it off folds it very neatly and places it very gently inside a box joe also takes his banana for his lunch out of a little banana shaped box 
peels it very carefully and delicately eats it whereas Derek I think he took it out of a bag it was quite squashed quickly peeled it and just chucked the um peel on the floor and I think if I remember I think he snapped it in half as well um so as you see very different ways of doing things so when Derek and Joe actually discover that the there's another person on the side of the wall they actually decide to take down their wall and share the space together however this doesn't go well at first because Derek and Joe like to do things very differently. Derek is messy, disorderly, and likes his music very loud, whereas Joe is quieter. He likes things done in a certain way. He's very particular, and all his things have to be uh, in their place, and he's very organized. So in order for Derek and Joe to be able to share their space, they have to learn to compromise and try and learn to understand each other's needs. I have to say Derek and Joe really did remind me of my two children. My two children are both very different. They're both autistic. However, they behave very differently. My daughter is very loud, very messy, very energetic. Um, uh, talks a million miles an hour doesn't stop whereas my son is very quiet he likes things to be very quiet he doesn't like loud noises um he likes things to be all tidy and he likes like likes all his stuff in a set place he doesn't like things being moved so they often clash um and they often do struggle to understand each other's needs and so yeah Derek and Joe really did remind me of my two children. So the set design for Boxed In is very simple. Um, it's made from cardboard boxes and um, I thought it was actually a really clever idea because children love cardboard boxes. Uh, they often use it to create their own little world and in this show it's they've been used to create Derek and Joe's little world. So I thought it was very a very good idea and also cardboard boxes are very light they're very easy to move around so when the actors needed to take down the wall um, so that Derek and Joe could come together obviously they're really easy to move around and it's very easy for them to move the wall and um, take that down so I thought it's a very very clever um, idea and I also thought that as I also thought the boxes and the lighting design together actually looked really interesting on stage. So I really like the set design. So as this show is mostly non-verbal, uh, the sound design was actually a really important part in helping to tell the story. So I thought the sound effects uh, that they used was really good and I thought the soundtrack for the show was really fun and upbeat and really helped um, tell the story I thought um, it was really good so Derek is played by the show's director Daryl Beaton and Joe is played by Jonathan Van Beek who happens to be the show's designer he designed the set as well and both men were fantastic thought they worked really well together on stage um, they're both very entertaining I thought they both used their body movements and facial expressions really well in order to get across their characters um, emotions which is very important in this show because obviously it was non-verbal and so they really did rely on body language and facial expressions to get um, how the characters were feeling across and I thought they both did that really well however I did think Daryl Beaton I thought his facial expressions were really animated and um, I thought he was fascinating to watch. I really loved watching his face and the way he just animated everything. I thought he was really, really good and I found him fascinating to watch. So I actually thought the show was actually really well choreographed. There was a scene where um, Derek and Joe had um, their jackets and they were putting them on and turning them inside out. They were getting zipped together and they were getting wrapped round in the jackets. And I thought that was really well, really well choreographed. I really enjoyed that bit. Um, 
I also really enjoyed the use of bubble wrap in this show. Um, they had a big long strip of bubble wrap which they put on the floor and then Derek rolled over it with his wheelchair and it made these really loud popping sounds which all the children really loved and it actually made my daughter laugh out loud um, because Derek also got really all wrapped up in the bubble wrap and she absolutely loved that. She really loves bubble wrap, it's something that she really likes. Uh, I think for autistic children it's a good sensory thing for them they've got the feel they've got the noise um so autistic children tend to really love bubble wrap and i thought that was a really nice touch to have that in there and i think that was my daughter's favorite part of the show so overall i thought boxing was a really clever really well thought out production which was funny it was interesting and it brought awareness of the difficulties people with hidden disabilities can have in our society however i don't think it actually was able to keep um the young audience's attention uh throughout the whole show a lot of children seem to get bored my daughter did get a bit bored in some bits there were some other children that i heard getting bored or i did hear a couple of killed children asking could they go home um as an adult i really enjoyed it i thought it was really good i loved the message but i think maybe it just wasn't gripping enough with it being non-verbal to keep some children's um focus on the show uh so for that reason i'm giving it three stars i would love to have given it four stars but i think just because it wasn't able to keep a lot a lot of the children's full attention for the whole show that's why i'm giving it three stars uh it was a lovely show um i would definitely try and take my son to see it again i think he would like it if he actually have, could have come in um but yeah it's definitely a three star show for that reason and yeah that's why i give it three stars um i think the show is doing a tour i'm not sure if it's still touring by the time this will go up um but i will list down below in the description box um a link to um daryl and co's website half moon theater's website um and it'll link on either of those i think where the show will be traveling to um i'll also list down below the zed art center's website um like i said they have a lot of brilliant kids theater on there so if you're wanting to take your child to a show and you live in the manchester greater manchester area um it's a definitely a good place to check out like i said they have other things on there they have the family um escape room they have a hundred story hotel lots of things on there they have the library as well and they always have lots of things on during the, the school holidays as well so definitely check that out so i'll put the, their website down below as well so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little review and vlog video if you do enjoy these sort of videos um do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell and be notified as soon as a new video goes up i do have quite a few kids shows that i'm going to go and review at z arts um as well as the Lowry as well I see some kids shows there if you're looking for more adult shows I do do a lot of reviews at the Lowry um I do have some videos coming up for shows at the Manchester Opera House and Palace I've got Pretty Woman vlog I got Come From Away coming up which I went to see in Liverpool so yeah there's lots of um adult theatre vlogs coming too so like i said if you're interested in any of that do subscribe and hit the notification bell and be notified as soon as those go up so like i said i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again soon bye